you guys welcome to rhymes times thoughts hey today i'm just hanging out at my if you guys didn't know um today i'm just hanging out at my rv we downsized some of you guys know we already downsized so i just want to uh, talk about a little bit about how the from going to a 1879 square foot house to an rv 40 feet long I think it's 80 feet wide or whatever it's that um, to an RV um, pinnacle on uh, Jayco um, RV um, basically my wife if you guys didn't know I talked about this in the past but I'm just giving you kind of idea we decided to downsize our house have a good time um, it took my wife three years to convince me slowly tell me how it would be benefit us uh, to downsize really we want to retire um, be debt free be able to travel see our grandkids and so forth so we've made this decision during of all times COVID-19 situation that's gone and we decided to move into our RV um, so far we've been there almost just went over a year in our RV and so far it turned out better than I thought basically we were able to um, um, stay debt free um, only thing we really owe is our um, Dodge Ram um, 350 um, we owe around 32,000 off of that so that's not too bad but that's the only debt we have um, right now uh, for both of us so it worked out pretty well um, both of us are still working we were able to add a little um, 20% um, to our 401k taking out our paychecks every um, paycheck so that's pretty much almost like a thousand dollars that we're putting into our 401k each of us um, per month so that's not too bad so hopefully we could build the funds up a little um, to make sure when we do retire that we have a pretty good chunk of change of saving in our 401k to we could actually enjoy life and travel um, like we want to but we also wanted to travel a little more to really get um, the essence of, of visiting the United States. I'm really getting the whole uh, thrill of seeing the, all the uh, places we want to see in every state to check out, to really see. I think every state has something unique about their state, and we want to make sure we cut, try to hit all the states and actually visit throughout the United States. Slowly, that's our game plan, especially when we retire. Uh, but that's the game plan we were thinking of doing. So this is little kind of also um, not too bad. And people think, what about your view at the RV park? It's pretty active. I will slowly panhandle our view. This is the back of our RV. And you can see we also have a little pond there. We're by the airport of um, Stockton Airport. But you can see as I pan slowly, around you can actually see um, the essence of my, our view of the RV place so it's not too bad that you guys see of um, that's just the back of the RV place at French Camp RV in um, Manteca but this is kind of what our view is and you can see what we did is we added um, on that big flag there because we do believe in the United States sometimes we struggle but that's okay and we also have on um, Wi-Fi and that's that little dish up there that we tend to bought why um, did Wi-Fi in the park that they use um, we were able to have those guys come out put a little antenna out there because I do work from remote from home right now and I do around 30 zoom um, um, zoom meetings a month so that really zoom meeting takes around one gig of memory um, for one hour so i want to make sure i had enough um, internet to make sure i could sustain my job and work remote but it's not a bad thing so i just really want to give you guys a really shout out a little quick video of what i do um, where we live and just a little um quick Thing. So thank you for tuning in to Rhymes Times Thoughts. And this is RV Living. I will talk about more about that down the road. Of course, my, me and my wife has Rhymes Times Adventure. I have Rhymes Times Thoughts. But I'm um, just give you a little 
um, aspect of RV living and I will go a little more detail. So if some of you guys ever thought about downsizing, I mean, it's not a bad thing. I mean, look at the beautiful view I have at my RV um, park and I'm able to still sustain living. And you guys, I know in the past, in the old days, art living in an RV, everybody thought it was a bad thing, ran down. There might be some out there. I can't say there's not, but there's also some nice ones here. And also you meet some, I think the people are more friendly um, at RV parts that they're willing to uh, talk to you, socialize with you. Um, we met some people from South Dakota. We met people from Texas. We met people all over the country because also if you guys didn't know, a lot of the RV living, a lot of them are contractors and they come in around three months or six months contracts and work in, in the nursing area. They work in um, they work in the nursing areas. They work in the um, uh, PGE contracts. They I am you look at um, sheet metal, uh, metal. So you have all these different fields going there, and some of them even have families that they homeschool their kids. So it's not too bad. But other than that, you guys, I hope you enjoyed my quick video, Rhymes Times Thoughts, um, RV Living, just a little narrow uh, talk about it, but just have some fun and enjoy the rest of the day.